Hello there, Gemini. Thank you so much for stopping by for your monthly in-depth tarot video forecast. This forecast is for the month of June. I do have it broken down into two separate parts. We're going to start with June the 1st through the 14th, and then after that we'll move on to June the 15th through the 30th. So thank you very much for being here. Let's just start jumping right in. The first card that I have talks to me about your environment. An environment is any place where you have energy or effort invested. For most of you, it'll probably be home, but you want to have an open mind. It could be work, school, etc. So what I'm seeing is that um, there seems like there's a lot of illusion or misrepresentation going on around your environment right now. So you just want to be really aware that you've got all the facts together before you make any kind of decisions regarding your environment. Next thing that we're looking at does talk to me about your subconscious leanings. And what I have here is you are really thinking about it might be time to um, get away for a little while. It might be time to take a break for a little while. And so subconsciously you're working out, is it really time to do that? And if it is, how am I going to make that happen? All right, so Gemini is looking next at your learning style and also your communication style. I do feel like whatever this is that you're researching or that you're learning about, I feel like you're sort of burning the candle on both ends as you're finding information. So this may even be, um, you know, this could be really hard uh, work at school like with a lot of study time actually being put in. If you're trying to find out about something that's more personal, then this could be, you know, really taking that time to dig for information um, and almost to the point that it's an obsession because you're spending so much time trying to find information for whatever this is. Now, as far as your communication style, I do feel like um, you're not having some super long conversations mostly during this time frame, um, but you are, whenever you've got something good to say, you're sure to say it, but I don't think that you're spending a whole lot of time on any one particular conversation or with any one particular person. Next thing that I'm looking at talks to me about work during this time frame, and it looks to me like work has been fraught with um, challenges, obstacles, difficulties, and you are in a place now where you're moving out of that time frame where things were just rough, choppy, waters were choppy. You're moving into a place where things are starting to calm down more at work. They're starting to stabilize. The obstacles are starting to dissolve, and things are starting to work much more smoothly for you when it comes to work. Next thing that I'm looking at talks to me about that part of your personality, which is being grown or expanded right now. Um, interesting that work seems to be getting smoother because what I'm seeing here is that you're feeling a little bit like you you want to reach for something that is more secure, more stable than what you already have. And so that's where you're really growing right now is in figuring out, okay, well, how do I do that? And actually, you know, taking the bull by, be, by the horns and starting to work on that. Now, next thing that I'm looking at talks to me about something that you stand for. And when I'm looking at something that you stand for, this is something that somebody has noticed about you or noticed in general, and they're saying to you, they're coming to you for an explanation, or maybe they're even confronting you about it. So you're standing up for whatever this is. So we're going to look at that. And then the next thing that we're going to look at is this person who comes to you challenging you, wanting that explanation or confronting you. We're going to look at how they see you in the situation after you've had your conversation with them. And so what we have is that, you know, there's something that you're involved with that you're just really not seeing a big future with it. It's it's here for the moment, but you're just not, you're not planning on making this a part of your future. And so somebody has, you know, they want to understand that or they are confronting you about that. And then what they see, once you once you have this conversation with them, I think that this is going to be actually a pretty, um, I don't know if intimate is exactly the right word, but I think you're going to be really letting your guard down with them to talk to them about this. I think you're going to be telling them 
as you're talking about this, I think you're going to be telling them things that you normally don't tell other people. And I think that they're going to recognize that, that it's kind of a big deal that you're explaining the situation to them in the way that you are. And they also understand that, you know, this thing that's just, that you're just seeing as temporary, you're not seeing it as long term, they're going to be understanding that you don't see this as the ideal. This is not actually the target that you're shooting for. And that's why it's not long term. You're not making long term plans about it. Okay. So the next thing that I'm looking at talks to me about the lesson or experience that you're having as you go through this time frame. And it looks like there's somebody that you're not getting along with really well. Somebody that you're having some kind of argument or dispute with is what is showing up here as the lesson or the experience. So as you're dealing with that experience with that person, it does look like um, you are uh, benefiting from the support of friends and colleagues. There are people around you who definitely support you as you are dealing with this conflict. And I think that not only are there friends around who you who support you with this, I think there is one person in particular who stands out who supports you in this. And that is somebody who is um, very well aware of um, the resources around them, whether they're your resources or their resources, doesn't really matter. This person can, can be very aware of resources around them, resources for their friends, resources for themselves. And I think that this person is, is standing out because they're pointing out to you that, you know, things are not the way the other person is saying, that you have resources that you're not realizing or you're overlooking because you're letting your head be spun by the words coming out of this person that you're having this dispute with by their words. So this person is more grounding you and, and keeping you more in touch with the reality of things even as you're dealing with this, with this display or, or with this dispute, I should say. And then where we see you at the end of this time frame is we see you coming into a situation where people are expressing their appreciation for you, that um, you've done something that not only benefits yourself, but also benefits others as well. And those others are finding ways to say thank you and express appreciation in other ways as well. Okay. So that's what we have for the first half of the month, Geminis. I'm going to take a little break, and when I come back, we'll look at the second half. Thank you very much for being here. Okay, Geminis, we are back, and this time we are looking at June the 15th through the 30th. First thing that comes up does talk to me about your environment. And what I have here is that you basically have a choice of environment. So... If you are looking for a job at this point in time, it may be that you have two job options or more than two even job options come open for you during this time frame. If you are looking for a home to move to, you may have other options come up, multiple options come up. Um, if you, This could actually be if you already have multiple homes, this could be going back and forth between the two homes. So lots of different ways that that could actually transpire, but it just talks about the idea that you have a choice of your environment during this time frame. Next thing that we have coming up talks to me about your subconscious leanings. And it looks to me like there's something that you have always collaborated with somebody else on, or at least you have in the past collaborated with somebody else on. And you are considering now, how can I handle that on my own? How can I take on that collaboration without having to have somebody else involved, just with me carrying that responsibility by myself? That's what you're looking at in your subconscious leanings, Gemini. Now, as far as learning style and communication style, I do think that you are learning new information during this time frame. And I think a lot of it that you're learning, you're learning because it makes you happy to. You want to. I don't feel like this is something that you're being forced to do. Or if you are being forced, it doesn't feel like that because you're really interested in whatever this information is that you're finding out about. Um, for some of you, there is something that you are learning about and this won't apply to all of you, it's pretty specific, but there's something that you guys are learning about either water 
or scuba diving or scuba gear or something like that is coming to me for probably just one of you but uh, something someone has a lot of information coming in about water um, yeah and then also um, the other thing that's showing up that's more specific too about this is that you may be learning about emotions or your own emotions somebody else's emotions or emotions in general okay as far as communication style I really think that um, right now you're communicating gratitude uh, especially to the people in your life but gratitude in general but I think you're especially communicating gratitude to the people in your life for being who they are even if that's a little different and quirky and um, out there as some might say I think you're really appreciating people around you and especially their differences and how those differences have helped you along the way okay next thing that we have coming up talks to me about work and so when I'm looking at work, um, what I'm seeing here is that this is it's not feeling very satisfying. It's not feeling very fulfilling. There can be a lot of reasons work doesn't feel satisfying or fulfilling. It could be that you just really dislike your job. It could be that, you know, you're not getting to do your job. There could be a lot of things um, going on here, but just whenever it comes to work, just I'm seeing just a general unhappiness, you know, not being satisfied, not being fulfilled, and uh, wanting to, sort of chomping at the bit to, but not having that fall into place during this time frame so much. Now the next thing that I'm looking at does talk to me about um, that part of your personality, which is growing or expanding right now. And I really feel like what we've got going on here is that you're just, uh, you're not feeling so good about yourself and you're not feeling so good about your situation right now, Gemini. And so I think you're, you're working on how do I, how do I improve my self-esteem and how do I improve my perspective on the things that are going on in my life? That's where you're growing and expanding. The next thing that we have coming up talks to me about something that you stand for and then after that we're going to look at with something that you stand for somebody has asked you to explain this thing or they've confronted you about it so we're going to look at what you're standing for first and then we're going to look at how that other person feels about you in this situation um, once you've had your discussion so it looks like there is somebody in your sphere of influence who is full of hot air they make all kinds of promises but then they're not very good at following through on those promises maybe because they don't even know how they're just trying to I feel like this person it's not that they are intending to lie intentionally um, but they're saying things trying to keep everybody around them happy and they're promising things that they don't really know how to actually make happen all right, and so I think somebody has complained to you about this person, and so you are finding yourself in a position where you're standing up for this person. And I think that what happens is once you've had this conversation with this other person who's complaining about the one that doesn't know how to follow through on their promises, I think that that person sees you as somebody who is really self-controlled and able to hold back on your own emotions. I feel like this person was thinking that you should probably be pretty angry or upset about the the person not able to follow through. And because you're not, it seems to me that you have some kind of understanding about this person. Um, the other person just kind of feels like they feel like you're not really expressing your true feelings about the situation that you're basically like to them you're making excuses but they feel like like internally like you're just as unhappy as they are that's how they are looking at it okay now next thing that we're looking at does talk to me about the lesson or experience of this time frame I do think um, that something comes in where you get a message about a project or an activity that you've been wanting to participate in and this message lets you know that that is now possible 
And so during the time that you're receiving this message and incorporating it into your life, I feel like this almost feels like it's bigger than life for you. It makes you feel a little bit ungrounded. And I think that you're kind of suspicious of this message. I think that you're feeling like, you know, this is this is really too good to be true. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you're getting in this really great message, but I think you're not really, you're not believing that it's really actually as it seems. So I think you're going to be sort of poking holes, seeing if you can poke holes in this, checking this out. And then once we get to the end of the month, Gemini's, I see you um, spending some time with family or tribe. Now for me, tribe is basically members of the family that don't have the same blood. So there are people that we choose to call members of the family, even though technically, you know, you're never going to find them in our family tree. So just spending time with people who are in your tribe or who are in your family, there may be some type of celebration either, but definitely this is, there is some sort of coming together of the tribe or of the family at this point in time once we get to the end of June for you Geminis. Okay, so that's what I've got for you. Once again, this is a general reading, so, uh, and maybe I didn't say it earlier, but this is a general reading, so not everything's going to apply to every single person. If you would like to have a more specific reading where I'm looking at only your energies, all you have to do is get a hold of me and we can get that taken care of. All my contact information is listed on the website in the description box that's below this video. Thank you guys very much for being here. I appreciate you so much. Everybody have a fantastic month and I'll see you back the next time. Peace out.